I'm here with back-to-back -back Super Bowl champion winning head coach Andy Reid. Coach, uh, over, the, over the second half of the season, Isaiah Pacheco was used a lot more in the passing game. Was that a result because McKinnon was hurt or just a piece of his game that you thought gave you more versatility? Yeah, well, maybe a little bit of each. Yeah. Um, but we're lucky in that in that room to have some good good guys, and they can they can catch the ball, can play, can run the ball well. Uh, so I, I'd probably tell you yes, um, but uh, we like throwing to them anyways. <laughs> right? Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Sure. The ball in his hand is usually ball, a pretty good ball thing. Ball is a good thing. Yeah. Last year was uh, sort of the the lowest snaps played for Kelsey's career towards the end of the regular season seemed like you guys were sort of saying was that by design to try to like save him for the for the playoffs was that was that a design and I know he's already said he's coming back so curious as to his plans for your plans with him next year so. yeah well, you can see that he's hard to keep out of a game so that that was like a major coaching accomplishment <laughs> for me uh, although in the Super Bowl he, he got mad but that the fact that he loves to play and that we have to do that, I think, is important. And the older you get, hey, you, you've got to do that. We want them to last a while. Yeah. And, um, and so it's important that we handle that the right way. Even though he might not like it, uh, I, I think it's for the better for him. Appreciate it. One last quick one. Talk to me about the development of Rasheed Rice over the course of the year. And can he be the, you know, we've been looking for the heir apparent to Tyreek Hill. Obviously a different player, but the number one wide receiver for Patrick. Yeah, first of all, Tyreek was phenomenal, yeah. um, outside or inside. Rasheed was a guy that Kelsey needed. So <clears throat> you need that guy that can work inside the numbers there. Um, that's quarterback-friendly yeah. area. And where they just can't double Kels. So um, the growth of Rasheed was a big part of our turnaround uh, offensively. And helping and, Kelsey free up. That's right. Absolutely, yeah, and they, they, you want them to make sure they can kind of do similar things. But Kelsey's so good playing in space. Rasheed was good at that at the college level, but it, it's tough in the National Football League. Those windows are so small, and then you got to kind of know when he looks back, this linebacker looks back, or safety nickel looks back at the quarterback, where is he going to go? How is he going to feel me? Where, where is he? How can I show my color to the quarterback? And uh, – and that's where he developed the most, and it, it complemented Kels. So you feel like a full-time role for Rasheed, like every snap next year? Well, he played almost every. Yeah, he did. Towards he the did, end, he did. Yeah, he played outside too. He had some big plays actually outside for us. So um, he can do both. Uh, but we really that his biggest development took place inside there in that dirty zone where he's, yeah. you got to work all that. And then he watched Kels, and so ca catching the ball, keeping your hands available, catching the ball, and getting upfield. He did a great job with, and that, that's something that he learned from Kells in that area, and it, it was great. I mean, that's, that'll help him the rest of his career. Andy Reid, you're going for a three-peat. Best of luck, my friend. Thanks I appreciate so much for the you, time. Man. Thank you. Appreciate yes. you, Coach. Hey, it's Matthew Berry from NBCSports.com and RotorWorld.com, and I want to thank you so much for watching whatever it is you just watched, or if nothing else, being too lazy to click out of the autoplay after this video started, after whatever it is you actually wanted to watch finished. But now that you're here, I'd like to take a moment here to ask you respectfully, respectfully now, okay? I'm asking you respectfully to subscribe to the NFL on NBC YouTube channel. You'll get the latest Roto World fantasy news headlines, all sorts of great shows, including my own fantasy football happy hour. So go subscribe now. Again, I'm asking respectfully.